All right, hey everyone, FPS Chazel here. Welcome back to 68 NATO campaign. Oh my god, in dot mod. <laughs> uh, avoid that guy as the Stoigen. We're starting to make some progress here. We got a sub coming in here to drop off some Spetsnaz at half and I'm, I'm, I have no idea how that's actually pronounced. And I don't know when this sub is going to show up. Maybe that's them. Seem to be some other subs tearing for the Atlantic here, but we're just playing the waiting game. They are coming to us. Oh, is that them? I'm trying to catch them out here in the deeps if we can. Usually they try and go like a a different way to try and avoid in the shallows, but no, it looks like that's them. Or sorry, not avoid you in the shallows, but try and go around you so you have to face them in the shallows. One five one, clear moderate breeze, no duck, no lair. The question is, where am I in relation to the shelf? We'll find that out. Let's do it. On seven, on oh, for ultra quiet. forgot to set ultra quiet down to two knots or something. <laughs> it's been a busy week. All right, hello. Okay, now we got the deep. Rather deep. Not completely deep. But deep enough. Make depth four. Zero, zero <laughs> How deep nine. is it? Deep enough. Oh, is that fishing boat? I think so. Don't think we've actually picked up the submarine. Con sonar, Sierra one is classified as merchant. <laughs> Buckaroo Banzai. Gamers tonight, what's going on, man? Did I coincidentally make a reference to a movie I've never seen? All right, let's let's crack it down to dos natos here and see if we can't hear the sub. Should be like uh, somewhere around this range. Come left to one five two helm I. It should be kind of, you know, pretty much. Oh, hello. Perfect. <laughs> Whiskey? Round the money? For two, nine. Seems like it. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Boom, shakalaka. All right, let's press on, like, due south. Come left Maneuver for the old end around two, there, LMI. and we can uh, go back up Main to standard third, here. Five, Not standard, nine, sorry, one third. Standard running. Need to see Buckaroo Banzai at least once. Oh my god, Ike. <laughs> sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Hello, how's it going? Fishy time. At work currently have been sick since Monday. Oh no. It's most unfortunate. Oh yeah, I need to get out get out and get a flu shot ski this weekend. Oh, is he going? Left to right there, okay. Con dive at four zero zero feet dive by. Mm, seems to be going kinda of fast. It's match. Well not fully match, but get close. Seven knots. Maneuvering eye. That far away, huh? I think we had some very noisy environments in the last stream. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is cavitating. Just about 20 dB louder. <laughs> Gonna keep up that cavitation there, Slick. 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 <laughs> 
Well, it was cavitating, slowed it down. Con sonar lost contact. Oh. Sierra two, last bearing one five zero. Contact faded. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's head. Let's just head for the last. Come left to one four nine. Helm I. Con helm steady course. Uh, no, let's go right this way. One, seven, nine, helm I. Con, helm, steady course. Should expect them to keep going right to left, so. Just heading the loose intercept there. Ish, intercept ish. Oh, and that. Okay, I'm at that state on Torps, huh? Definitely enough for this mission, but a little lower than I thought I was on Torps. I guess I did use four in that last mission. Maybe more at some point. Probably some other diesels earlier from the last stream. Six torps down. Okay, the question is, is he... It looks like he's going right to left now. And kind of quieter. Okay, he did turn to starboard there. Interesting. Hey, Dark Age, how's it going? Yeah, I did sneak it in on Thursday last week. Why did I sneak it in on Thursday? Or did... I'm all confused as to, as to what frickin' time of year it is and everything. Uh, ba 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 boo well, last week was things. Okay, yeah, so I did not stream last week. That was things. Even the week before was Thursday. That's when I went to my parents to work on my car. That was only two weeks ago? Okay. Yeah, I left on Friday for my parents. So that was... Okay, yeah, that was that was the, uh, the last stream two weeks ago. Okay, that makes sense. Because, uh... Never mind. I'm not I'm gonna stop blathering on but yeah that makes sense it wasn't tracking earlier why the last stream date was two weeks ago <laughs> yeah thankfully i don't have to get my covid shot well i don't know about thankfully i don't have to get a covid shot for a while since i just had it but i will be getting flu Flu is fine, just maybe like a, a slightly sore arm, but those COVID vaccines would always make me feel like I have flu for the better part of a day in the past. Mm, let's kick it. Come right to kick it wide two, a little one, bit eight, here. <laughs> I don't know, we need to go seven knots. Just chill. Make turns for five knots. Donating a couple of teeth. Oh my god. No, don't turn to port. What are you doing? Are you zigzagging? Like you should be. Oh, it just slowed it the hell down. Rig ship for ultra quiet. I mean, let's head right for him. This is a. If he's gonna keep up this turn, can sneak right into those baffles. Why not? Oh, looks like his screws are stuck spinning, spinning hot. Does that sometimes? <clears throat>
was waiting for him to like it looked like he was changing speed or something there, but no, I guess not. <clears throat> Alright, kick it into high gear. Oh wait, not yet. We'll wait a little bit. Maneuvering eye. Oh, you're like right on that shelf. Yeah, we're coming off the shelf. Okay, we have been. That's cool. Trade some teeth to clear up your sinus hassles. Con, helm, steady course. Yeah, I mean, I suppose if it came to that. I still need to get that checked out. <laughs> I'm not anti-doctor, I'm anti-appointment. <laughs> what are we doing here, a little button hook? Wish the bathymetry was better to read in terms of the size on the stream or just in general. Oh, you mean like on the map here? Yeah, well, <laughs> don't get me started in my DW days of freaking drawing out my own bathymet bathymet bathymetrical curves. Good times. Helm. Oh, they're coming back to stab it. Ever so slowly. Speeding up a little bit. Come left to zero nine two. Helm I. Con helm. Oh, speeding up a lot. Oh, Come left um, to zero. Six, um, seven, oh. Helm. Make turns for five, nine. Oh, gosh. Make turns for five, nine. Okay, I think it's, uh... <laughs> I think we're gonna get counter-detected here. It's time to, uh... The, the, the... Let me pause it. The, the changing, like, sound levels, you get... <laughs> you get very attuned to one of them, and then you go to a quieter one. Or a louder one, and then everything gets all messed up. It's very interesting. Hey, Mark 11. Oh, it wasn't a cult, it was full blown, full blown, full. <laughs> it was not HIV, but full blown AIDS. No, it was full blown COVID. <clears throat> but thank you. Glad to have you here. Why not just charge with the whiskey? Uh, I guess I don't want to get sloppy. But that is true. The torpedoes are very scuzzy. All right. Let's turn on in here. Come right to one, six, five. Helm I. And then it's just, it's this map with the sense of scale. It's like I'm 2,700 kill yards away. It just always feels like I'm 5,000 yards away. <laughs> I don't know what, I'm trying to remember what gives me a better sense of that in Dangerous Waters. Is it like the scale they show on the nav map or TMA? It might be like TMA. Because generally making solutions is very ambiguous until a certain point and the bearing rates get big enough that it's very easy to make a solution. They're like, oh, we're getting close here now, boyo. Oh. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Might as well do the ultra quiet thing. Hey, you know what? Pop it out. We Come might be able to, to dodge this. Six. Dill hole. Con helm, steady course.
Yeah, all right. Now you're thinking with portals. Oh, hello. Come right to two, three, seven, helm, I. Con, helm, steady course. Yeah, dog. Let's get a little closer to that center line there. I don't even know if center line is really the right word I'm looking for there, but we're going with it. All right, that's good enough. Let's do the do the shoe sting. Uh, passive, good shoot. Shoot two three, I sir. And turn it on. And here we go. Infection issues between the sinus and the teeth for 30 years. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow. What is the point of a sinus? Is it supposed to like moisturize nasal cavities or something? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's the primary reason I get in the baffles a lot. You know, it's, I've been doing it so much, I kind of forgot why, but I think it is the Mark 37s because they're crap. So I'm just trying to use them smartly instead of just... Because if I, if I engage this whiskey from like 5,000 yards away, I gotta launch like a four torp spread because of how slow they are to try and like cover all those avenues. So just take a little bit longer, get into a good position. We have sinus so they can get blocked. Eh, everyone was thinking it. You know, I was about to stream sub command today, but I, I still need to get it set up a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to start switching off between this and sub command, I think. But it runs, but it get like the uh, the the cursor tails thing that kind of sticks around too much, which isn't isn't the end of the world. But I need to get like the stream layout set up and everything. So did not want to rush it today. But uh, yeah, maybe next week sub command stream. I don't think I ever finished my 688i subcommand campaign in Dangerous Waters, did I? I don't remember. I don't think so. No, I didn't. I don't think I did, because I think that, uh, what is it, the Severed Vince Commission? That gets way too hard, and that was my impetus to try and make my own port of the campaign to Dangerous Waters. You know what, maybe I'll have time to work on that in the in the few weeks coming up, because I've put in my two weeks notice at my job. I've accepted a job at another company. Very exciting stuff. I think I told you guys about that about a year ago. It's finally come to fruition. And I start in the new year. Con sonar Boom. Lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing three. One. Four. Contact breaking up. Oh, let's reload that too. All right. Wait, hold on. Am I at five knots or something? Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Good. Make turns for five, Leave combat. Cha-ching. It wasn't the mission objective. It was heading right for the frick. <laughs> it was heading right for it, man. Flagellum is supposed to grab unwanted particles that make it past the hair in your nostrils. Yes. 
Sub <laughs> Sorry. There's, there's more I want to say, Mark 11, but I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Sub command to some good download missions. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff on, like, Sub Guru to check out. You know, I think... I think I'm a little caught up on making sure that it's a fun mission to play. Maybe just every now and then we just need to... I just need to try some missions, and if it's a bad experience, just accept it. Can always fall back onto this or something else. <sighs> Do I ever play as a 6 at 8 I in Cold Waters? Thanks, Ike. I-K-E. <laughs> There's a Severed Events Commission in Dangerous Waters. Severed Events. I'm sure there is. Is it called Severed Events in Sub Command or something else? I don't remember. But there is a mission that takes place right outside Murmansk, uh, Polyarni Inlet, whatever region. And it's uh, the RA port of it is borderline impossible. So, in my redo of the sub-command campaign, I was going to make the acoustical environments much more, uh, like, mud or sand bottom, which is pretty degraded acoustical environment, because I imagine that's what it would be like in those areas. Not going to get open ocean sound transmission. At least, I don't think. <laughs> Just discovered I have to hold the function key to change the volume using the laptop keyboard buttons. That's stupid. No, oh. isn't that? I think that's like standard laptop fare generally. <laughs> At least Windows laptops. I think Mac laptops. It's just usually one button press. All right, is this my mission? This schmuck, that schmuck, schmucky ducks. Oh, save ski. All right, might be this guy. The Akula symbol in '68. <laughs> I wish they would at least separate between Nuke and, and Diesel, that would be... I mean, you can kind of tell anyway based on how fast they're going on the overmap. It's the histamines. I do have allergies. Maybe on, like, very big gaming laptops it's... You can have those separate buttons, but... How big is mine? 15 inch, maybe? It's a, it's a lot of com combined keys, like home, page up, page down, all those kinds of keys are combined with other ones. Numpad buttons, so you're like switching between numlock a lot. All right, rain, fog, high wind. Okay, we're gonna close in super close. This is gonna be noisy. No duct, no layer. Status report, I. Oh. Uh, over Thanksgiving, I went to whatever you want to call it, like Plymouth National Park to see where like the pilgrims lived when they first landed at America and saw like a Mayflower flower replica. That was a, uh, a very eye-opening experience. That Mayflower is a tiny boat. It's like a 30-foot boat. It got a hundred people on it across the Atlantic Ocean. Craziness. Let's do it. On sonar, lost contact. Last bearing, two, six. Zero. Contact faded. Oh, I didn't see it at the, uh... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't see the bearing in the beginning of the mission. Hold on. One one eight. Very good. Thank you, YouTube. Pretty much facing that exact direction, just about. Good. Come left to. Let's uh. One, one eight. Helm I. Ambient noise one or two. That's more like it. <laughs> Not really. That's what I'm used to from the last stream. Ultra quiet. Let's go to two knots. See if we can eat them. It's a raid, oh my god, hello. Con sonar new contact bearing two 
sick. Family had to get rid of your pets uh, because of you. That's very unfortunate. Was yeah. it? Were they there uh, the whole time, or did it like start eventually? Eh, oh, eh, mm, eh. What? Over there? I think it's a fishing boat. Con sonar. Yeah, Sierra our cats are is 14 years old now. We got them when they were 12 because their owner developed an allergy. And at that, that late in the game, that just, I can't get like allergy shots or something. <laughs> We've had them for 12 years. Goats. Con, helm, steady course. What is the sound a goat make? Isn't that called a bleat? Goats bleat. The onomatopoeia. All right, we're not we're not hearing anything. What is my course? One one eight. The only sound though, he was our laughter. Come left to one one. While we eight, sail to Havana, nine. where the sun is warm, and so is the. Comradeship. <laughs> we sail into history. All right, let's uh, kick it up. Make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Bleat, bleat, bleat. <laughs> That's all, folks. So oh, now I'm Porky Pig. Been very allergic, uh, very allergic to cats since forever. Oh, sorry to hear Con, that. A sock. I last bearing two, previous cats six, in my life I've had a stronger contact. allergic reaction to. I have almost turns. none One, five, to the current nine. cats, which is interesting. I guess there's like different levels of of a uh, allergic provocation among allergic irritation among rat uh, cats, not rats, cats. <laughs> I know like uh, ragdoll cats are like hypoallergenic, but our cats are not ragdolls. They're American short hair. <laughs> That's not the mission, Sean. Sean. Slamming a monster, yeehaw. I don't think I've ever drinking monster straight. Oh, God. <laughs> Back in college, when I was young and dumb, we used to do something called diesel rockets every now and then. I think it was like one part Jim Beam, two parts monster, and then like a squirt of Hershey syrup. <laughs> it was just this like crazy ass thing you do when you're young. More of a dog lover, do like cats. I found when I when I lived with cats first uh oh gosh, five years ago. That's when I found out I like cats more than dogs. I like the independence of cats. Not to say I don't like dogs, but and they also require more more effort than cats. <laughs> Very, very quiet. Yes, Georgie. Oh, yeah, Elma Fudd turned to Georgie. <laughs> Sorry, not Georgie. Pennywise is talking to Georgie. Oh, my God. Where are you guys raiding from? Which, which uh, Twitch channel are you guys raiding from? T-Mans. Oh, okay. I think it did say that. Diesel Rocket. I don't even remember where I found Diesel Rocket. It's probably some dumb YouTube video. I was the one that made the brilliant discovery of the Diesel Rocket. <laughs> Fostock Gundam, hello. The old Heinies. 
I bought a uh, 12 pack of Heinies a while back just to have like alternate between nicer stuff, in my opinion, and cheaper stuff. Heineken. Uh, and by the end of that 12 pack, I was like, oof. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was, I did, it was weird. I was like, I cannot. I, I do not want to drink any more of these Heinies. <laughs> so now I just get nice IPAs and cheaper IPAs. <laughs> Oh, I tasted a whiskey at the liquor store the other day that was a combination of bourbon, rye, and scotch. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I don't really like scotch, but I, I think I... It was just like a, a nice touch of smoke. It wasn't bad. Good to sip with friends, maybe, but... I don't think I would, like, just buy it on my own. All right. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Where are these schmucks at? Let's take a listen. Make turns for two knots. Maneuvering eye. Liver's getting snobby. <laughs> diesel rocket, wasn't that a North Korean invention? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them to try a diesel rocket. Hard liquor, fellow. I like uh, hard liquor as well. Mixed drinks, rather. I don't really drink liquor straight too much. The liver is getting snobby. <laughs> You know, I remember the first time I had an IPA, it was, uh, for all my Maryland homies. <laughs> it was a, uh, uh, what's the brewery God, called? Whatever. Flying Dog Raging, Raging Bitch. I did not like it at first. It was my favorite IPA for a while, even though it's like a, uh, a Belgian IPA. I don't really like it as much anymore. It's got like a bit of like an anise flavor to it. Diesel Rocket is an abomination. <laughs> you should not drink it if you are older than about... 23. So it's like a it's like a Red Bull vodka basically. So the heart attack, the heart attack maker. All right, we're we're pretty uh we're pretty clear here. Make turns for 1 5 knots maneuvering eye. Glenfiddich on the rocks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not a big scotch guy. I don't I don't like mezcal. I don't really like I don't like smokiness in my drinks. I like smoky barbecue. I don't really like smoked salmon. So I guess I don't really like smokiness on the whole too much. John, maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. Gamers Unite, I have a drink I call Bubba Brew, Paw Paw flavored moonshine Mountain Dew and powdered lemonade. Okay. What's a paw paw flavored moonshine? It kind of just sounds like a take on like a a whiskey sour kind of, which is basically just lemonade with whiskey in it. <laughs> which is one of my favorite drinks, by the way. I love whiskey sours. Vostok Gundam. I tried IPA and it's way too bitter for me. There are varying IPA is like a whole other world. There's like there's a there's a lot of variation in IPA. Some of them can be rather fruity and light. Or rather, I'll say on the fruitier side, I'm not going to call them outright fruity. It's not like a... A, uh... Not like one of those frickin' seltzers or whatever. But, yeah, they're, they're definitely super bitter IPAs, which I don't really care for too much either. Excuse me. Used to drink bass with a shot of Jaeger dropped in the glass. Bass? Oh, Jaeger bombs? Are we talking Jaeger bombs? <laughs> Who remembers the video of my new haircut with some like stereotypical uh, Stunads, <laughs> Stunads guy on YouTube? <laughs> it's like Jaeger bombs, Jaeger bombs, Jaeger bombs, base pale ale. Okay. What am I using to combine the chats on the stream? Uh, it's called Restream. Uh, I've been using it for a long time. I, I didn't use it for a while because I used to do Twitch streams exclusively, but then I switched to primarily YouTube and then streaming to Twitch. Twitch recently like uh, allowed Restreaming as an associate, but you still can't show the chat from other platforms, so it's like basically moot it's dumb so i was like yeah whatever you whatever twitch <laughs> pop 
pawpaw is a fruit native to most of the eastern U.S. How have I lived on the east coast my whole life and never heard of pawpaw? Tastes like a cross between a banana and a mango. Mostly comes from Pennsylvania. Maybe that's why? Interesting. Not base, bass. <laughs> Can't spell base without ass. World War II Yuba versus modern nuclear sub. Oh. <laughs> we like shooting fish in a barrel. Alright, we're at that second listening point. Let's take a gander. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Make turns for two knots. Maneuvering eye. You pick up pawpaws and put them in the basket. Oh, foraging? We talking foraging? Oh, congealed in your stomach. Maybe I was too drunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's end the night with some Jaeger bombs. I don't like Jaeger. I'm sure I've done a Jaeger bomb. I don't really remember it too much. The best bomb is Irish car bomb, and that's, I think, indisputed. Irish car bombs are delicious. I've not done that in probably 10 uh, years. Maneuvering. Making turns for two knots. Way down yonder in the pow pow pants. All right. Taking the downtown bomber. <laughs> Ooh, root beer flow with an alcoholic root beer. Nice. And eh, still nothing. Make turns. Kick it into high gear. Five knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, when was the last time I've had an energy drink? Uh, I guess I haven't had like a... I, I haven't had anything like a Red Bull or a Monster in years. I guess if I'm like tired... <clears throat> if I'm tired on the road, I go for like those Starbucks double espresso or triple espresso coffee products, which is definitely a, a good way to describe them because they, they resemble coffee, but they're certainly not coffee. They have a very... <laughs> a very weird taste. Started brewing again. Oh, nice. I've never brewed. Never brewed the beer. I don't think. Ah, who knows? I got my own house. Who knows? But I, I have no plans to brew beer. Irish Car Bomb. Yeah, I just mentioned it a few minutes ago. Irish Car Bomb is amazing. Double shot is sweeter, triple is a more strong coffee taste. And again, it's just a coffee taste. <laughs> Doesn't taste like coffee. It's like coffee jelly beans or something. But it's 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 doable. It gets the job done. Oh god, I remember when I I went to Savannah, Georgia and January 2010 to visit my best friend down at Savannah College of Art and Design right before the semester started. And the night before I had to go back home, we stayed up till like 7 in the morning, some ungodly dumb 20-year-old hour. And then the drive back to Maryland from Savannah was like 10 hours the next day. So we woke up at like 1 and left promptly and that sucked. 
I think I went through like three and a half Red Bulls uh, on the drive back to get back to Maryland because we took my car for some reason. My friend doesn't drive stick, so I had to drive the whole time. <laughs> uh, when you're young and dumb. Terry Vizsla. Hello. Thank you for subscribing. Not sure if you're watching. Mm. I want to get another beer, but I'm playing with my friend later tonight. Found a way to play Black Mesa, the, the Half-Life remake, with uh, with friends. There's a mod to play it with friends, so we've been playing that through. But I don't wanna I don't wanna kill myself yet. <laughs> Yet, that's the key word. <laughs> I don't want to kill myself at all. <laughs> but I want to endure. Endure, Master Bruce. Telling y'all not to run over so many bumps. It's a boring drive too, because it is just Interstate 95 the whole way, so it's just it's just interstate and you're just It'd be one thing if it was like 11 hours of like Tale of the Dragon, some windy back row, but it's just smooth, boring highway. I have to imagine that on the whole, doing like a, a windy back road drive for 11 hours would be more exhausting than the highway. The highway might be more boring, but that's actually an, an interesting thought. Rig ship for ultra quiet. All right, dill hole. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys at? Maneuvering eye. Going to assume I'm going this way, so I think once I get out to here. Which is about four miles from the starting point. Con, sonar, new oh my bag. god. Three, oh, five, we could be six, oh. Sierra, two. We could be pretty close aboard here. Sonar Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Come left to 353 three. Helm I. Make turns for 10 knots. Maneuvering I. All right, we got a we got a we got a hit. Interesting that we picked them up here. Con maneuvering, making turns for 10 knots. 95 from Columbia, South Carolina to Hicksville, Long Island. Oh, goodness. DC to Rochester. Oh, gosh. Yeah, in terms of long road trips, the, lo the longest I've ever done is uh, DC to, to Denver and back. Two different trips. Uh, not the same trip, but uh, equally terrible. <laughs> 28 hours on the road, 8 to 10 of which is just Kansas. Oh my gosh, we are really close aboard with this guy. Hello. Come right to zero, three, All right. Four, five, I will be right back. Okay. Maine to Key West. Good God. All right, we're in them baffles. We are so close. We are freaking close. Where is this guy? Con Helm, steady course. As you can see him pretty well. Just a tiny sub. All right. Come left to three, three, four. Helm I. Make turns for eight knots. Maneuvering I.
Shoot two one. Aye, sir. So be a quickie. I can just barely make it out. Con, helm, steady course. Yep, 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 yep. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar, lock, Con contact, boom. Sierra, two, last bearing, two. Alright, the question is, is that everyone, sometimes these things have multiple subs? So I might as well do a sweep of the area, make sure we got them. Got them all. Getting starting to get a little low on torps. Getting a little low. Of course, die order. O three six. Con maneuvering, making turns for two knots. I don't think the ultra quiet matters in terms of our ability to detect, just others to detect us. Could be wrong. I don't think there's anyone behind Sierra 2. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Okay, well I can I can look down there and see that red dot. There are still subs in the area. Hmm. Big question is in front or behind? In front wouldn't be terrible because then you can kind of catch up on them. Behind could be in, could be stuck here waiting for a while for something to show up that may never show up. But it could also be abreast. Con helm, steady course. Let's uh, let's go this way a little bit. Rig ship for ultra quiet. I think I just pressed ultra quiet to go to five knots. I don't know why I pressed. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Something. Something short circuited there. Con maneuvering, making turns for one five knots. I suppose the other sub could even be over here. It's uh, tricky. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. It's one thing with those victors, but they make the diesel so quiet in these games. Is it quieter than a victor? I think it's the same. Oh, it is 5 dB quieter. That's the video game trope. Super quiet diesel boat. Why is there just a single pixel up there north northwest of you? I don't know why that was there. That was a good question. Oh, maybe it was because No. I was gonna say maybe the solution for the the whiskey was that far up at some point, but that might be what it was, some dumb glitch. Con maneuvering, making turns for two knots. On sonar screen, how do you differentiate surface contact from submerged? In this game? Really just, uh, 
They just have different signatures. But if you're talking dangerous waters on the broadband, you'll be able to hear. A ship will make noise, a submarine, they really don't make noise on the broadband in dangerous waters. Keep on trucking, partner. Tychosis, by the way, I don't know if I said hello. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I got lucky. I got lucky. Nine, maneuvering, making turns for two knots. Looks like another whiskey. Sonar, Sierra three is classified as submerged submarine. Oh, can anyone explain to me in Hunt for October? And Jack Ryan decides to say that Ramius will go to starboard in the bottom half of the hour. Is the implication that? He knows Ramius that well to know which direction he would turn. Because that's utterly absurd. <laughs> An MNW sonar will be closer to DW, right? Sonar will exceed DW. Drove from Groton to Atlanta. Nice. Oh, 95 is going to take it right through NYC. Yeah, that was a good time for, uh, what is it, I-87? I-84? Trevor one goes through Western Virginia. That's the implication that Ryan can predict Ramus' behavior. That's so frickin' dumb. <laughs> I've never really thought about it too deep, but then when I thought about it, I was like, oh my god, that's the dumbest. Is there no better way to do that? That's like the one flaw in that movie. Are we this close to this guy too? Seemingly. Make turns for. I think we'll still hear him at 10 knots here. Oh, there you go, firming it up. Wunderbar, he exclaimed with great relish. Maneuvering, making turns for one, zero, not. Let's get close to that center line there. Whiskey Bravo, Roger, Roger. All right, let's do it. No, oh, Roger, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Most captains would just be like, yeah, okay, whatever, and then shoot. <laughs> Give the man a chance. And again, why is it if even if he can know which way he's gonna turn, what the what the heck does that matter? What does that matter about his intention to defect our launch missiles? I'm thinking about making like a little video about that. A little ranty video essay. I don't know if there's enough there, there to make a worthwhile video about it. Hey, it might be like five or maybe ten minutes long, but... <clears throat> it was a bluff, but it was a... it was a... it was a dumb bluff. There was no... It doesn't mean anything. And it's absurd. You could never... 
I don't even think... Well, maybe Borden would know what Remus would do, but I think there'd be... I don't even think people that close to Remus would know what the heck, which... It's not even like he's the one ordering the baffle clearing turns. It's the officer of the deck. This is bothering you this much. <laughs> it's because it's an amazing movie. And the entire... The entire... Last act of the movie hinges on the fact that... They have to establish that Ramius is trying to defect and not launch his missiles. This is a very recent revelation of mine that I that I realized how dumb this was. <laughs> Checked out I-95 through Boston yet? Do you mean I-93? I-95 goes around Boston. It's like a beltway. Whatever. <laughs> I-93 is always backed up when I look on Google Maps. I live near I-90, which is the east-west road that goes into Boston Mass Turnpike. Mass Pike. Don't run the pike rot, run I-95. Me I-93? <laughs> Let's just say where I am, it would, it would make no sense to not use I-90 to go into Boston. It would just be so inconvenient to go a different interstate. <laughs> I-96. Where is this? Oh, he's been turning. I hope this torpedo acquires. Make turns for eight knots. Maneuvering eye. Put it a little close to where he was going to be. Excuse me. Not been marking my uh, my launch points. God damn it, it went right around him. You gotta be kidding me. Does he even care? <laughs> I don't think he cares. Come left to two, six, six. Oh, that's no, annoying. Nine. Yeah, I put that a little close to him. <clears throat> Maybe that's why I've not been marking my naval points because I, I turn it on right away. <laughs> East West Highway in Michigan. Oh, okay. 
Sad MBTX container. Hello. Maybe there's a third whiskey. <laughs> it's possible. Usually fire a good bit behind the launch point, so I have some space for the seeker to work. Yeah, as soon as I just launched this other torpedo, I realized why I don't mark it. And that's because I usually put these Mark 37s to active right away. Or enabled passive, rather, just because they're slow, so I want to get it over with. So there's no point to mark the enable point because it's already enabled. What's your guys' highway speed limit? Uh, 65 for the interstate here. Interstate 70 back in Maryland, I think, had moved to 70 miles an hour. Speed limits, I think, are generally too low. I think they could be higher, but I think the issue is variability of, of cars on the road. I think there would be way too many... Too much delta between cars going slow and cars going fast, which makes it dangerous. Because there's those God, people that always want to go. Would rather slow, but won't move to the right lane. Oh, the Mark 14. <laughs> yep, got the good old Mark 16. Thing packs a wallop. I think I sank a Mos Moskva with one Mark 16. That's like a big uh, torpedo meant for battleships and stuff. I think the Moskva would probably take like two Mark 48 hits. Don't have car inspections. They have car inspections here in Massachusetts, but they're like, uh... They're like outcome based. It's like test the brakes and make sure they can stop this from this distance. It's not, they don't inspect the pads because my pads <laughs> I've gotten, I got some like stuck slide pins on my rear brakes and like the, the outboard pads on Con both sides are down to like Sierra, three, way too low, like bearing, embarrassingly three, low, like zero, maybe like zero, one or two millimeters of pad out. left and I had my car mass inspected, and they, I also had them flush my brake fluid, and they did not notice the <laughs> the very low pads both times. So <clears throat> something did just blow up. I think I gotta wait for my torpedo to go away. Even if there is a third whiskey, we got two out of three. That should be a mission success. And I gotta go back to base and get some torps anyway. I, yeah, I cruise five over. If I'm getting around someone, I will... I will speed it up a little bit. The people that annoy me the most is when they're passing someone and they seem to slow down during the pass and then they speed up after the pass. I'm just like, what the... F what are you doing with your life? Get in the right lane and stay there. All right, let's uh, speed this up and wait for that torp to run Come out of on, juice. Room, tube three ready. Come right to three, one, four. Helm, I. Con, helm, steady course. I suppose it's possible there's there could be a third sub. Could there be a fourth sub? I don't know. I'll have to wait for this torp to die out. But I want to keep kind of heading this direction in case there are more subs. Oh, that Con, bottom is coming up. Yes, thank you. Helm. Third cutaway too is enough. Dodge getting pulled over. Yeah, that's why I cruise at five over, so I just don't have to think about cops. <laughs> Because I get distracted and carried away, so... Just go 5 over, because it really... There's 70 miles an hour versus like 80 miles an hour, like, it's saving you minutes. What does that matter in the grand scheme of things? If anything, assuming you're going to go 80 that whole time and not run into someone who's hogging the left lane and have to slow down and pass or whatever. Con, dive at three, zero, zero feet, dive by. Less than 50 feet below the keel. 
I think you mean to say 50 meters. Let it be, you weren't, weren't. <laughs> All right. Looks like we are whiskey, bravo, roger, roger. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Looks like we're clear. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, the, the amount, yeah, people, if you ask someone, if you ask, <laughs> I'm sure if you ask many people why there's more accidents in the rain, they would, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? It's like, yeah, in the rain you have to go slower or you have to increase your following distance. <laughs> But that's not, that's not something you can intuitively feel because you don't feel the difference in traction until you get to the limit, which is why I think most people don't believe that kind of stuff or just don't care. Because <clears throat> most people don't drive at the limit. Rightly so. <laughs> Enemy at sea replenish the tank is in tenders. Oh my god, it's been too long. Hi, get to the tender. 